song you're listening to? I'm not listening to any music right now. That's a weird song name. I know it really is. Who's it by? Uh, the, the voice is in my head. I want to crash my car into a telephone. Standing on the gas with no signal. For the past year or so, the word real has been used excessively on almost all forms of social media. Whether it's a depressing TikTok slideshow with some guy like sitting in the rain with some sad music or just straight up an image of uh, like a, a meme from Whisper app with some like sad caption talking about how depressed you are. You'd always see under any of those posts a bunch of comments, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments, all commenting just real. So why have we suddenly decided uh, this past year that the word real is what we're gonna use now to basically describe any emotion that we're feeling or describe any situation that we're currently going through? I think initially this word started popping up on TikTok usually on those depressing slideshows or those depressing videos with some sad music playing in the background that you see popping up on your For You page every once in a while. They don't know that I cry myself to sleep almost every night because I long to be with someone. All I want is for someone to hold me, to brush their fingertips across my cheek, gently rub my back and grab my hand. And those TikTok slideshows are basically a downward spiral because they already popularize depression. But once one video shows up on your For You page and you like that one, more and more starts popping up and it just keeps going and going until you get into this rabbit hole of just depressing video after depressing video after depressing video. And eventually you just curl up into a ball in the corner of your room and just cry yourself to sleep or worse. These TikTok slideshows aren't the best for your mental state and uh, commenting real every time you see something sad or depressing isn't necessarily going to help you either. But I guess it's kind of like therapy, isn't it? Especially when you see hundreds of people all commenting the same thing. There is that sense of community where it's like, okay, um, I'm not the only one who's feeling this way. Everyone else is feeling this way. So it has to be okay, yes? But that's the thing, guys. It's not okay. It's not okay to feel this way. And if you do feel this way, then talk to someone and stop commenting real. It's not helping you. Now, if we want to get into the nitty gritty of all these things, uh, Urban Dictionary even has an official definition for real, which is when you relate to slash agree with someone or something. And that's essentially what it all boils down to. Whether you're like super sad about something or you didn't get the girl or didn't get the job or you're super stressed or oh, I have to work a nine to five and I'm a wagey and my life is over or literally anything. That's basically what real has boiled down to. That's what you comment when you just feel the same way about something. Where if you just... Uh, see a video of the guy from Blade Runner just screaming with some sad music in the background, you'll be like real, uh, as if you're feeling the exact same way or something, which doesn't make any sense, but that's what our uh, emotions have boiled down to. So yes guys, we are all Ryan Gosling in Blade Runner. As someone who's also been in this three-ledged rabbit hole, all I can say is that we're all struggling in our own ways. And uh, every time we comment real, it's kind of our way of uh, bonding with each other. And essentially, uh, like, communicating that we all have shared struggles and gripes in the very scary and confusing world that we're living in. So, uh, yeah. The next time you see a depressing TikTok slideshow, you're not going to comment real. You're going to seek help.
please like and subscribe if you liked this type of content. Uh, and tune in next time when we figure out whatever the fuck Riz means. I'm now going to bed. Good night, everyone. Salam alaikum.